Sydney is once again, really, once again reeling from another stabbing attack, this time at a church in the city's southwest, with a bishop among several people injured. Bishop Ma Mari Emanuel was delivering a live streamed mass when he was attacked. Police say a 15 year old boy who was known to them is now in custody. Huge crowds then gathered outside the church, clashing with more than 100 police and leaving two officers injured. New South Wales Premier Chris Minns has convened a late night meeting of faith leaders who unanimously condemn the violence. Sydney is a city reeling this morning. Rani Heyman is in Bondi Junction, but first, let's speak with Jessica Rendell, who's outside the Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley. Jess, what happened last night? Well, Catherine, it's eerily quiet here now, but just hours ago, this was the scene of chaotic unrest. Crowds broke out into fights after a bishop was stabbed in the church just behind me here, and this was all captured on live stream. A 15-year-old boy approaches the bishop and allegedly stabs him multiple times before other churchgoers managed to step in and apprehend the boy and stop him. Now, in that process, three other people were injured. They were treated for lacerations at the scene but their injuries are being described as non-life-threatening. As for the bishop, though, we understand he is in a critical but stable condition in hospital as we speak. Now, following these stabbings, angry crowds burst into fights outside the church here. The scenes were just so intense. We saw people jumping up and down on police cars. There were more than 100 officers here at the scene with 30 police vehicles, some still here at the scene now guarding the church. We also saw people throwing objects at each other. Two officers were badly injured. One had a brick thrown at their face and another also suffered facial injuries and injuries to their leg. Now they were both taken to hospital to be treated for those injuries. As for the boy, he was actually being kept inside the church during all of this to protect him for his own safety. And after police managed to quell the situation and calm down people out here, they brought the boy out, they arrested him and they took him him away. Police say he was known to them, but they didn't say in what capacity. Take a listen. Police identified the two church parishioners had been stabbed by a 15 year old male. It was identified that a large crowd had gathered outside. A decision was made to retain the young person in the church for his safety. A public order incident developed requiring police from all regions across Sydney, upwards of 100 police. Jess, what has the response been to this horrific event? Well, Catherine, last night, Premier Chris Minns called an emergency meeting with faith leaders across Western Sydney that included bishops. It included representatives from the Muslim and Islam community too. And they called for peace. They condemned this attack. And they also asked for people to treat each other with kindness and respect. The Imams Council of Australia also released a statement condemning this attack. And no doubt we will see more of these sorts of statement, statements come out in the following days.